Good morning. What you gonna eat for breakfast today? Try to do good today. Determination isn't always loud. It doesn't always roar. It won't always shout. For Devin Walker, determination Ready? has a different sound. I was on the Nile. I didn't believe that oh, my arms can't move, or oh, my legs can't move, and that I'm on this speaking to that's on my throat. How long does it take to get dressed? Uh, about two hours from, from the bed to actually being in the chair and being ready to actually either go or just sit up and watch TV or something. You never really learn to appreciate something until it's gone. It's the next day in the next life. Faced with the same drive he used in his last one when he came to Tulane in 2009. A cell and molecular biology major determined to play Division I football. I kind of looked him up and down and thought, oh gosh, and because uh, at that time he might have been 160 pounds. A lot of players are big and strong, but don't have that killer instinct, and Devin definitely had that. First thing is his determination. He had the chip on his shoulder from day one that, hey, I'm going to make this team, I'm going to make us better. From walk-on to starting safety, Walker not only earned a scholarship, he was named team captain for the 2012 season. My mindset on the field was that no matter what, uh, you weren't going to beat me. So I'm going to show you, basically, I'm going to show you. September 8th, 2012. Tulane at Tulsa. A short pass at the end of the first half. I just hit the hit, and everybody go, wow. And I just didn't know who it was, and it was like, in time, I say, who is it? And that does not look good. I was going to go help him up, and I just, I saw the look on his face, and I mean, I knew it was something serious. There were moments where we feared the worst. There were some times where he struggling to breathe and keeping pulse. He just didn't know. And you know, I was praying for his life. My fear was that he would be gone. He would, uh, my son would not be with me when I finally got to him. My first instant when I woke up and I couldn't breathe was I had a fear of I'm going to die on this field right now today. I'm never going to see any of my family again. So. An ambulance rushed Walker to a Tulsa hospital. Days later, he woke up. The doctors told me I had a fracture C3, C4, very debris. Basically, it said everything below your shoulders is dead. Uh, everything below my neck, really, at the beginning, it said it's dead. You know, he wasn't thinking of himself. He was thinking of what this accident caused, the trouble that it, as in his mind, he was causing trouble for everybody. That's the very first thing he said, Mom, I'm sorry. While Walker's absence loomed over Tulane's team in New Orleans, he spent the rest of the season in a rehabilitation center in Atlanta. They basically said that you're going to have to get ready for a life in this wheelchair. And I just remember thinking the whole time, like, no, I'm not. I'm pretty wrong. I'm getting out of this wheelchair. Now, he spends three days a week in therapy. Good. Come on, Devin. All the way. The session's meticulous and difficult, as is most of every day. This semester, Devin is back on campus taking classes to earn his degree. 
And there's one other place he's determined to be. I made a promise that I was going to be sideline with my team, watching them beat Jackson State. Uh-huh. Hey, how you like the designs, man? At the season opener, that's where he was, with his team, giving his message. The fact of the matter is, you know, my day is up on playing football. Y'all day is still in front of y'all. Been a lot of pain, been a lot of work just for me to get to this point. That's uh, just... Man, I just want y'all to go out there and just play, play like it's your last, you know, because you don't, you don't know how many you got. Pain is temporary, but victory is forever. Y'all play for that. Hey, y'all, ball out on three, ball out on three. One, two, three. Ball out! As much as he can be around, I want him around us, because what he did and what he gave up is inspiration to all of us. Devin's determination, he sets the track for us all. Even though his body has, has faltered, his spirit is undefeated. My future is to regain my movement, really, to help other kids, other people who have been in my situation, who have been paralyzed. I believe that that's what I'm meant to do now.